Hello friends, hope you are happy, safe and fine at your home. Welcome in today's lesson. Today we will cover squares and square roots. This is chapter number 6. First three chapters from your textbook, NCRT books, rational numbers, then linear equations and quadrilaterals. We have already finished. Now moving to the next lesson. And we are covering today squares and square roots. This is chapter number 6. So let's start. We will talk about square. Earlier you know that we see squares in geometry. What is square? A square is a polygon whose all sides are same and all angles are of 90 degree. Now we will talk about another square that is square of algebra. In algebra this square is different from this geometry square. Now what does mean square here? Square means power 2. Means for example 1 2, 2 I am taking here, 2 power 2, it means 2 raised to the power 2, this is also called power of 2, so what is power of 2, how we can calculate it, if we multiply 2 into 2 twice, means 2 times, so what we have here, we have here 4, it means we can say that square of 2 is 4, right, hope you understand this one. So, today we will discuss how to find squares and in next lesson we will talk about square roots also, right? So, now you know that what are squares, square of 1, we know that 1 into 1 is 2, square of 2, that is 2 square, 2 into 2 we know 2, 2 are 4, sorry, 1 into 1 is 1 only. By mistake I written to there. Now 3 square means 3 into 3. We can write here 9. 4 square. 4 into 4. It is 16. Then 5. 5 square. 5 into 5 means 25. 6 square. 6 into 6 that is 36. 7 square, 7 into 7, 49, then 8, 8 into 8, 64, then 9 square, 9 into 9, that is 81, and finally 10 square, 10 into 10, we have 100. So here are the squares from number 1 to number 10. Square of 1 is 1, square of 2 is 4, similarly square of 9 is 81 and square of 10 is 100. You can see here, right? So this power 2 means we will multiply this number 1 2 times. That's why 1 power 2 means 1 we are multiplying with 1 twice, 2 times and it produces 1 only. Similarly, 4 power 2 means we are going to multiply 2 with 2. Since power is 2, it is 4. This 2 is called here base also and this 4 is called its power or exponent also. Which means that we have to multiply this base by base with 2 times. So, these are the squares of numbers between 1 to 110. Now, we will discuss some properties of squares also. Properties of squares. Now, you can see here. Here, you can see unit digit is 1. Here is 4, here is 9, here is 6, 6 is unit digit, here is 5, here is 6, here is 9, here is 4, here is 1, here is 0. If we summarize it, starting from the smallest number, 0, we have 0 here, then 1, 
then uh, four, then five, after that six, then nine. Zero, one, four, five, six, seven. What does mean it? It means let me check if any one is left or not there. One, four, nine, six, five. Right. Now it means if any square ends with zero, one, four, five, six, and nine. It means that number may be a perfect square number. Right? So you can see here all numbers, all squares are ending with 1, with 4, with 9, with 6, with 5, with 0. Right? So if any number ends with means which have unit digit as 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. So such type of numbers may be perfect square. If not necessary that all numbers which ends with these digits 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 they are they all are perfect square. It is not possible for each and every number. Right? Which numbers we missed here? 2 2 is not here in the, that list. Then 3, then 7 and 8. You can see 2 is not here. You can't find 2 here as a unit digit. 2 is not here. 3 is also not here. 7 is also not here. And similarly, 8 is not there in that list. It means if any number ends with 2, 3, 7 and 8. We can say that that number may not be perfect square. It is 100% true. We can't say that the number ends with 2, 3, 7, 8. That number will be a perfect square. You can see here examples. I have written here squares of numbers till 10. And none of the number ending with these digits 2, 3, 7, 8. So, conclusion is if any number is end with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, and 9, that number may be a perfect square number. And if any number ends with 2, 3, 7, and 8, that number is never be a perfect square number. Right? Now, what does it mean perfect square number? You can see here all numbers, these numbers that I written here, these all numbers are perfect square. Why perfect square? Because these are square of any other numbers. Right? These are squares of any other number. Now you can talk about this 6. You can talk about 6. We can't say here 6. After 4, on 9 is we, now we have directly 9. So 5 is not there, 7 is not there, 6 is not there, and 8 is not there. So it means these numbers are not perfect square. 4 uh, is the square of 2, and after that, after 2, 3rd is there, and the square of 3rd is 9. So 4 numbers are missing in between. So, these numbers are not a perfect square number. Hope you understand what are the perfect square number. Right? Now, some another property we will talk about. That squares. And the second property that we are talking today. That property is. Numbers between square numbers. This is very important property. Numbers between square numbers how can we find how many numbers are there in between two suppose i am taking an example of four square of four and square of five we know that a square of four is four into four that is 16 and square of five is five into five that is 25 
right? So how many numbers are in between that 16 and 25? Can you tell me how many numbers are there? 17 is there, 18 is there, 19 is there, then 20, then 21, 22, 23 and 24, right? It means in between square of 4 and square of 5 there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 numbers are there. Now in general how can I find square numbers in between numbers in between squares of 2 numbers. There is a formula for this one. Right? Suppose we are taking n as a 4. This is n. So we can write it n square. Then what we can n square? It means it is 4 square and n plus 1 square. That is 4 plus 1 square. We can write it. Now how can we find in between n plus 1 and n? How many numbers are there? So n plus 1 square then minus n square we have to find we can find by using this formula how many numbers are in between so n plus 1 square how we can what we can write it n square plus 2n plus 1 then n square we can write as it is right so by n square n square we can remove because these two are like but these two are opposite also so 2n plus 1, right, 2n plus 1, now what is value of n, value of n is 4, if you put 4 here, we will get 4 into 2, 8 plus 1, it means 1 is extra that we are getting actual numbers, if you put value of n 4 here, what we have here, let me explain it, we have here 8 plus 1, 9, but we are getting only 8 numbers in between squares of 2 numbers. So, what is the general formula now? We can say that it means in between 2 squares of 2 numbers, there are 2 n numbers. We need to subtract 1 from here. So, if we subtract 1 from here, what we have? 2 n. We can cut this 1 by 1. So, in general, we can say that in between squares of two numbers we have two n numbers let me explain it again i know that you are troubling in this it means so n plus one square minus n square if we solve it we have here two n plus one as i solved earlier but in actual, we are getting one number less than this 2n plus 1. That's why we can reduce, we can subtract 1 from this, so we have 2n. It, <coughs> it means, it's numbers between n plus 1 square and n squares are 2n. You can check it through an example also. Suppose, we have to find how many numbers are in between 3 square and 4 square. So what is 3 square? It is 9, 4 square is 16. So how many numbers are there? You can, you, you can write all the numbers here. So how many numbers you get here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 numbers we have. Here n is 3 and this is n plus 1. So what is formula now? 2n. 2n means 2 into what is n? n means 3. So how many numbers we have? 6. And 6 actually we are getting here. This is an example. How we are getting 6 numbers here. Hope you understand now. It means in general we can say that in between n plus 1 square and n squares there are 2n numbers. Right? Next property we will discuss now, this property is adding odd numbers. This is very very interesting property, adding odd numbers.
right? Start uh, our number we know that starting from one. If we add one with three, what do we have here? Four b. And what is four? Four means two into two means two squared, right? Up, it means after adding first two consecutive odd numbers, that is one and three. These are two first two consecutive odd numbers. After adding them, we are getting four, and four is square of two. Now we are adding first three consecutive odd numbers. What we have here? One plus three, four plus five, nine. And nine, we can write it three into three. That is three square. So interesting. Now, if we add four conjugative odd numbers together, one, three, five, after that seven. What we have here? One plus three plus five. We already know no a nine, and nine plus seven is sixteen, and we can write it four into four. That is four square. Right? Let's check another. Suppose this time we are adding first five conjugative odd numbers: one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine. One plus three plus five plus seven sixteen. Already we have sixteen plus nine. Here we have twenty-five. So we can write it five into five. It means five is five. Right? Now, if we are adding. Next odd number is eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we are adding six conjugative odd numbers together. So what we have here? Till nine, we have twenty-five. Twenty-five plus eleven, we have thirty-six. So we can write it six into six. It means six is square. Now, very interesting result is coming here. If we are adding first two conjugative odd numbers, and it is square of two. If we are adding Three conjugative odd numbers. First three, then it is the sum is square of three. Why three? Because three first conjugative odd numbers we are adding. And in third example, we are adding here four first four conjugative odd numbers. Then this is the square of four. Sixteen we have, and of course sixteen is the square of four. Similarly, if we are adding first five conjugative odd numbers. We are getting twenty-five. It is square of five. And for six, if you are adding six first conjugative odd numbers, result is thirty-six, and it is square of six. So we can say that the numbers conjugative odd numbers that we are adding. Suppose you are adding fifty conjugative numbers. First fifty conjugative odd numbers, then you will get square of fifty. It's very simple and very interesting also, right? If you are adding first twenty conjugative odd numbers, then you will get square of twenty, that is four hundred. If you are adding first fifteen conjugative odd numbers, you will get square of fifteen, that is two to five. So this is very interesting, and you must know this property of adding odd numbers, right? Next property that we'll talk today. And this property is sum of conjugative natural numbers. This is also very interesting property. Sum of conjugative that natural numbers. Right. So three. I am taking. Three square. What is three square? It is three into three. That is nine. And nine, we can write it four plus five. It means we are able to write the, the, uh, the square of three. That is nine in two conjugative natural number. That is four and five. It's very interesting. Now suppose the square of five. We are taking here only squares of odd numbers. Remember this thing, right? So five square, we can write it five into five. That is twenty-five. Now twenty-five, we can also write what we can write it twelve plus thirty. 
these two are also consecutive natural numbers after 12 13 is there this is also very interesting now next seven we are taking here next odd number is seven so seven we can write seven into seven forty nine we can also convert forty nine into sum of two twenty four and twenty five so these are two consecutive numbers so these are very interesting property you can try some any other also so nine also we can try here nine into nine eighty one and eighty one we can write how what we can write eighty one forty plus forty Conjugative natural numbers. So this is an interesting property. It means a square of odd numbers. We can convert them in the sum of two conjugative natural numbers. Let's check for eleven also. Eleven into eleven. It is one twenty one. And we can write it sixty uh, plus sixty. There are so many examples. You can take any other example also. You can increase the three. You can check for thirteen also, for fifteen also, for seventeen, nineteen, and so on. You will find you are able to split that answer into two conjugative natural numbers. These are two conjugative natural numbers. One is odd and one is even. Two conjugative natural numbers are always even and odd. After even odd will come and after odd even will come, right? So this is another important property of squares of numbers. Hope you understand. Now today we will start exercise six point one. Some questions we will discuss from this exercise, right? So question number uh, exercise six point one. First question I am discussing here. right question is what will be the unit digit you have to find unit digit in the squares of following number right number is 81 first part is 81 question is it's a very interesting question how you can find what number will come in the place of unit digit in the square of these numbers it means you need to find the square of 81 no need to find square of 81 you just find square of unit digit what is unit digit here unit digit is 1 here so find square of 1 what is square of 1 1 so it means Square of in square of eighty one at the place of unit digit we have one. This is very very important. No need to find square of whole entire number. You just pick that unit digit number and find square of that number only. You will get answers. Second question that is two seventy two. No need to find square of two seven two. How can you find square of two seven two? After uh, you know only one method. After multiplying two seven two by two seven two, we'll get square of this two seven two. It little bit complicated, right? So in next video, I will tell you how to find squares of numbers between one two. One thousand without much calculation. So wait for my next video. In that video, I will tell you some tricks are there how we can find squares of numbers without much much calculation, right? So in here we need to find square of unit digit. What is unit digit here? Unit number digit is two here. So what is square of two? That is four. So we can say that square of two seven two in unit place will have four as it is. It. Hope you understand. So many questions are given uh, given there. No need to find the square. Just pick that unit digit and find square of that digit only. 
right? One more example I am taking here. Example number, question number six I am taking here now. Two six three eight seven. No need to find square of this number. Unit place. What is unit digit here? Unit digit is seven. Find square of seven. That is forty nine. Now two digits are coming there in the square of last unit. This unit digit of seven. So what is unit digit here? Nine. So nine is advanced. Your answer should be in single digit only. Question is talking about the unit digit in the squares of these numbers. So square of this unit digit of this number is seven, and square of seven is forty nine, and unit digit in this forty nine is nine. Hope you understand. Now the second question is rest of the part you have to do by your own. If any question, any query is there, you let me write and I will explain for you. Now second question. Question is how can you say these numbers are obviously and not perfect square? Give the reasons. Question is how you can say that this number is obviously not a perfect square. Just before we discuss, if any number ends with two, that three, six, seven, and eight, we sorry not six. If a number ends with two, three, seven, and eight, then. That number never be a perfect square. I have given example also here. So, as we see here, at unit digit seven is there. That's why we know that this is the property of squares number. If any number ends with seven, then it never it number will be a perfect square. This is your answer, right? So, so many numbers are there. You have to write. Regions also. One more part I am taking here that part number eight two 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 and three zero are there. Now you know that if any number ends with zero, then one, then four, then five, then six, then nine. We know that if any number ends with these any of these digits, that number may be a perfect square, but it. Did not need to necessarily that number will be a perfect square. Now here you can see this number is ends with zero. So can you say this number is a perfect square number? This is not a perfect square number. Why? Because you can see there are three zeros coming together. This is another property of square number. If there are even numbers of zeros coming. Even numbers of zeros, either two or four or six or eight, then only we can say that that number may be a perfect square number. Since there are odd num odd numbers of zeros are coming, there are three zeros are coming together at the end. That's why this number is also not a perfect square number. This is another property. This is very very important property. You can see here what is square of ten. It is hundred. You can see two zeros are coming together. Means even numbers of zeros are coming. Say two is even number. And if you find the square of hundred, what we can write it? One then followed by four zeros. Hundred into hundred, ten thousand. So how many zeros are coming there? Four zeros are coming there. Four is also an even number. So that's why if Even numbers of zeros are coming at the end of number, then only that number may be a perfect square number. Maybe it is not hundred percent true for all the numbers. Suppose two is followed by two zeros, this number is not a perfect square number. You must also know this, right? Now, third question: The squares of which of the following would be odd numbers? Now, you have to find that 
the squares of which of the numbers would be odd numbers how you can say that squares of the given numbers would be odd number it is also an interesting question first part is given here that is 431 second part is that is 2826 third part is 7 7 7 and 9 and one more part is there that is 8 2 that is 0 0 and 4 right or numbers now no need to find square of entire number only just pick unit digit that is 1 find square of 1 1 is coming as unit digit and we know that If one is coming at unit digit, this number is odd number, right? What is square of unit digit here? Six is there, thirty-six, and unit digit is six. So six, we know that it is even, right? Now here is nine. Unit digit is nine. Eighty-one is the square, and unit digit is one. So this is unit digit. At last, we are writing unit digit. Here four square of four is sixteen and unit digit is six. It means, of course, this second and fourth, their square will be even number. And first and third, their square will be an odd number. Hope you understand, right? The question number four, five, and rest of the questions. these are very simple questions right you please try to solve these questions if any problem you find you write me in message section i will make next video and i will solve remaining questions from this exercise 6.1 right so hope you understand today's lesson right and uh, in next lesson also i promised you that i will make your that lesson very interesting because i will tell you how to find squares of numbers 1 between 1 between 1 and 1000 without much more calculation right so wait for my next video and, and so uh, thank you from today's lesson